How to store old photos and preserve precious memories in 2022. From an early age, we've all learned the fine art of posing and smiling and looking good for the camera. However, our shortcoming has been how to store those precious memories once they were developed and admired. For many, the photos were relegated to a couple of large shoe boxes or two and put in the closet for storage, or worse, stored in the attic. Through trial and error and hundreds of media storage options, and as first-hand witnesses to poorly stored films and videos that came to us dead on arrival, we have come up with the solution that will protect and preserve old photos and other media and keep them alive so that you can easily watch them and share with others without any loss in the future. In our video transfer business, we have learned that people come into possession of old videotapes, slides, and photos, and 8mm movie film, either from their own collection or was passed down to them from a relative. The first question people ask is, what do I have here? Physical photos and 35mm slides are easy enough to look at, but old movie film and videotapes can prove a challenge. Who has a working VCR or film projector anymore? Sure, you can buy an old projector on eBay, but who wants to buy an item that was someone else's headache? That purchase might give you a one-time viewing of the film, if the bulb doesn't burn out or burn the film, but what to do if you want others to enjoy the memories as well. To preserve your media, it gets down to two methods. One, keep as is, but improve the storage environment to slow down further deterioration. Number two, safely digitize the photos, films, and videos to lock in quality. Option one, proper storage. Move all of your old media to a cool, humidity-controlled storage area. Media should be free from temperature extremes, exposure to pollutants such as smoke and dust, and bright lights. Even by using a slide projector or movie projector, that intense light bulb will promote the dyes found in the film to fade. Pictures should not be displayed in most of the photo books that were sold over the years. This is due to the chemicals found on the pages. Now, be honest, if you've looked at a photo album book recently, how many have seen the clear plastic sheets that protect the photos? It's now discolored or yellow, and it sticks to the photos. Not good. Movie film, whether 16 millimeter, 8 millimeter, or Super 8, when exposed to extreme heat, will bend and warp the film. Videotapes are magnetic. And with every viewing, magnetic particles fly off the base of the tape, causing video noise and picture quality to be compromised. These are called audio and video dropouts. Keep tapes away from strong speakers. It creates a magnetic field. And keep away from temperature extremes and out of direct sun exposure. Another option, digitize your media. Once digitized, old photos, 35 millimeter slides, films, and movies are no longer magnetic or have chemicals or dyes that will fade or deteriorate. Technically, once digitized, every aspect of a photo, film, or videotape are now zeros and ones and won't and can't rip or tear or be subject to deterioration by the elements, temperature, light, humidity, mold, and so on. Photo scanners. For do-it-yourselfers, there are many options for photo and 35mm slide scanning. Flatbed scanning does a decent job. Usually, you can scan up to four images at a time, taking two to three minutes at 1200 dpi, dots per inch. We have a slide projector that can scan at 10,000 dpi. At that setting, you're at about eight to 10 minutes per scan. At 10,000 dpi, you should be able to blow up an image to a billboard size print, but for the average slide, 1200 dpi is sufficient. Software that can handle color correction and dust removal apps are handy tools to have as well. If you want a photo scanning service to handle the project for you, bundle up the photos and or 35 millimeter slides in the order you'd like. 
Discuss the DPI dots per inch necessary for your scans. In general, 600 DPI photo scans are sufficient and 1200 DPI for 35 millimeter slide scans. If you plan to blow up any photos or slides to 8x10 or larger, a higher DPI may be necessary. However, you don't want to pay extra when you don't need to. On average, expect to pay 47 cents to a dollar per slide or photo scan. Like all professional photo scanning experts, we use a cleaning solution, PEC 12, to clean slides. Compressed air is also used to provide the best scan possible. Movie film transfer units. When you need to preserve old movie film, there are several prosumer models of 8mm film projectors that run the film and capture it to a high definition camera. Some are called frame by frame transfer units. Others run in real time, capturing all 16 or 18 frames in one second. Cost for these units runs anywhere from $500 up to $20,000 or more. Our HD 8mm film transferring price is $15 a reel, whether a 7 inch or 3 inch reel. Other companies charge by the size of the reel or by how many feet are on the reel. Videotape transfer units. When you need to preserve old videos, in general, you'll need a VHS VCR outputted to a DVD recorder or a computer that records it into an MP4 video file. If you have Hi8 or mini DV tapes, you'll need a camera to play back the tapes outputted to a DVD or a computer. Professionals have the upper hand when transferring by using industrial equipment that is maintained, including clean video heads and the best video cable connections. Our video transfer service is priced at $15 per videotape and about $20 to $80 for a USB, which can hold hundreds of videos, films, or thousands of photos. Obviously, we like the digitizing method the best because of its versatility. Old media generally looks better with the new modern digitized scanners. The latest software is used to balance and color correct and remove dust. Digitizing old photos and home movies along with digital cameras and expensive machines all work together to breathe life back into tired media. Once digitized, all of your media will fit onto one USB thumb drive, which can be backed up to the cloud. Because of the ease of storage, ease of viewing, and ease of sharing with others, digitizing your old analog media is a clear choice. There is no downside to digitizing your analog media. Even the cost is very affordable and reasonable. Preparing photographs. How to preserve pictures, including physical paper photos in many sizes, including 11 by 14 or 8 by 10s, down to a postage size prints. It's best to sort the photos by size, although some people will want to arrange the photos by date or by an event, like a wedding or a vacation. Photos can be found torn, worn, bent, along with many other configurations. If possible, straighten out or correct each as best you can. Heavy books can help squeeze a warped photo back to shape. 35 millimeter slide frames are subject to warping or bending. Apply the heavy book fix as well. Preparing videos. When looking at your library of videos, determine if there are any you would rather not transfer. An example would be recorded TV sporting events. Store-bought videotapes are copyrighted and can't be converted. They also have a copy guard signal built in that prevents transfer. Another problematic Tape is one that has had water or soda spilled on it or has a white powder showing on the spools. This is mold and it's very dangerous. If you have a broken or jammed tape, we can usually fix it at no charge. With the soda, it's probably a lost cause because of the stickiness that we just can't seem to remove. To preserve old videos, companies will transfer them to DVDs, provide a cloud link, or will place up to 100 photos on a single USB thumb drive. Many companies, such as ourselves, will also return your original videotapes along with the new digital copies. 
The first month our photo scanning service opened here in Orange County, California, 1993, we had the Laguna Beach firestorm that destroyed over 300 homes, along with their precious home movies, photos, and films. Fortunately, over the years, we were able to help hundreds of thousands of other families preserve old photos and films, protecting them from natural disasters like fires, floods, extreme temperatures, elements like moisture, mold, dust, and more. In summary, old analog media like videotapes, photos, 35 millimeter slides, and home movie film should be stored correctly and transferred to digital as soon as possible. Unlike wine, old media does not get better with time. For a free consultation to find out what you have and to get a free estimate, contact the video editor toll free, 800-873-7132.